All right, so the state of Florida just got $100 million to help first-time home buyers get into their first home. Now, whether this video is for you, maybe a child, maybe someone you know who's looking to get in their first home, I'm gonna be telling you everything you need to know right now. Let's get going. Hey everyone, my name is Brett Schiller. Now let me start off by saying I'm not a lender, financial professional, I just work in real estate and this is something that I saw that was extremely valuable to a lot of people who I work around, people who I work with, children who are looking to buy their first homes. So I wanted to share it with my audience so that you can know about it and you share it with those who really need to see it. It's an incredible program. And I'm gonna be talking to you today about three specific things. Number one is what's changed recently about the program. Number two, who qualifies for the program. Number three, what the terms are, all of that jazz. Now let me also say, if what we talk about today is you, you think you qualify, you wanna take advantage of the program, my number is on the screen. I'm here as a resource for you to connect you with the right people that can help you execute it. Even if I'm the first call to kind of lay the groundwork, help you understand. Even if you're in a different area around Tampa, I can connect you with a local professional in your area that can help. So please do use me as a resource. And while we're at it, like this video and subscribe so you don't miss important updates about the market and all things happening around Florida real estate. Let's get going to those three items. All right, starting off with our first thing, the recent changes. So the Live Local Act just essentially allocated a hundred million dollars that can be used for this Hometown Heroes program. So this is gonna be starting July 1st, and that $100 million is essentially there until it is used by all of those who qualify. So it's something that if you are interested in, you do wanna take action on because the pot is limited. The other change is that it was extended to all Floridians. It used to be available just for first responders, military, nurses, teachers, Hometown Heroes per se, whereas now it is available for all working Floridians. And the last change is that the amount that you can qualify for or receive has increased up to $35,000. We'll talk a little bit more about that. So moving on to section two, talking about who qualifies. So the first point I wanna talk about is this is all working Floridians. Now there are some caveats in here. Your employer needs to have a physical brick and mortar building in the state of Florida in order for you to qualify as a working Floridian. If you're a remote worker working for a company in California that has zero brick and mortar presence in Florida, well, you wouldn't qualify for this program. Second item in here is you must be a first time home buyer. First time home buyer is defined as someone who has not owned a home in the last three years. Item number three, you must be working full time at least 35 hours. And like I mentioned before, for a Florida based employer, which means a brick and mortar building in the state of Florida. Now, the terms of max amount of income that you can have to qualify for the program. Now, take this with a grain of salt. This is from a local presentation that I had. So in Hillsborough County, Tampa Bay area, the maximum income was about $130,350. So take that with a grain of salt. It's probably a little bit different in area, but a general rule, it's a pretty decent income. In a news article written from the Florida government, it states that your income cannot be higher than 150% of the median income. So use that as a guideline, but do reach out or contact a professional for specifics for your scenario. Now, if you are self-employed, there are certain restrictions. I'm not gonna touch base on this one because honestly, I don't have that much information on it. So this can be one that you can ask as well. On last item on the qualifications is if you are a veteran or a military, active military member, you do not need to be a first time home buyer to qualify for this program. It can actually be a second property or the like, and you can still get access to those funds. Now moving on to the terms of repayment and all the jazz you need to know if you are to take advantage of this. If you're going to have a co-applicant with you on the loan who's not occupying the property, it can vary, so this would be something you wanna to speak to a professional about. Now, no, you do not have to pay any type of a monthly payment to repay the funds that you get from the Hometown Hero program, but yes, you will have to pay them back. So say $20,000 is what you got to go towards the down payment of your home. That would go as a second lien on your home, and if you were to ever transfer the property to a new owner or sell it, that $20,000 would be due at that time. 
Now also to note, if you ever refinance this property, sell it, turn it into investment property, or pay off the loan in full, then that loan, the amount that you got from the Hometown Hero program would be due in full at that point. Now, last of all, in terms of the money that you can receive in order to go towards the down payment assistance is up to 5% of the loan with a max of $35,000. So if you work that math backwards, $35,000 is 5% of a $700,000 loan, meaning you could purchase a property up to $700,000 and get $35,000 to go towards that down payment assistance. Now that wraps up everything that I have for you today. Now there are some holes you could poke in here. It's not totally perfect, but it's enough to be dangerous. And that's what I wanted for you is to know about the program know how you can use it and know the right people to reach out to see if it can work for you. Once again, my number's here. If I can be a resource, help me. Or if I cannot, I can get you connected with the right people who can. My name is Brett Schiller. Subscribe for more videos like this, keeping you updated on all things Tampa Bay and showing you some of the best real estate around the area. We'll see you on our next video.